you know like Jay, it's your homie, it's your boy, it's your finish that, man. Finish that. Y'all know y'all my friends, man, and y'all love y'all to death. But bro, I wasn't, bro, I wasn't planning on going to a funeral on Wednesday, bro. I, I, bro, they, first, the funeral was scheduled for Tuesday. But I couldn't make the funeral until Wednesday, man. Bro, Chase and Dwayne TV dropped their responses literally, I think, less than an hour after Dax dropped his. So that right there let me know one thing and one thing only. Them boys already, well, more than two things. They already knew Dax's response wasn't going to be shit. And two, they didn't care what he had to say. They knew what they wanted to say. That's what I got from that. From them dropping so quick, that's what that's what was going on, bro. Bro, we got two. We got two responses to check out, man. I'm gonna separate them into two videos, bro. First, we got Chase. Y'all know I'm gonna take this one very seriously right here. I never listened to Chase a day in my life. I had a couple of his videos saved on the playlist to react to. But this, bro, we got to this one first. I'm sorry, Chase. I'm sorry. But we, we finna get our first impression of you from a diss track. On the motherfucking janitor, man. Oh, man, here we go. I'm sorry, G. Let's get it. Goddamn clock. Goddamn. <laughs> Why you calling now? Bro, why, bro, why you so harsh with the words, my guy? <laughs> bro, my feelings hurt already. Why you calling out? Chase. You getting fucked by? Chase. <laughs> you underestimated? Chase. Huh? Time to feel the wrath. He got him chained up. Blunt. See, I respect your grind, but never understood your motive. You said yourself I had a fan base that you could grow with. But when I paid you $750 for the verse, you only gave me half of that and acted like I wouldn't notice. What the fuck, Dax? Huh? Bruh, y'all know how YouTube works, man. When something drops, something is noticed, everybody run with it. But ain't nobody even had to run with this right here. And Dax, and Dax this track yesterday. He admitted a lot of his shit he did. And it's like he was bragging about it. I didn't say nothing during the reaction because I was strictly there for the bars. I was strictly there for the bars. But I got to let y'all know. It's a lot of stuff I noticed about Dax this track. He admitted to a lot of the bad shit he did. That's tough. That's tough. Then not to mention... That's when they copyrighted everybody that reacted to it. I found a dispute for mine because the nigga gave me permission to react to it. So mine gonna get removed. But I see other YouTubers say, hey, that's copyrighted my... Bro, that's tough, Dax. How you gonna... Bro, how you gonna use the YouTube community and then copyright our vids for your own personal game, my guy? And then the nigga went and posted me on this story like that. Like like I like I like I care about that. I don't care about that, my guy. I don't care about you posting me on your story. Come on, man. That's tough, man. Hey. But that's all I gotta say about that. But Chase said, hey, I gave you 750 for the verse, but in your verse, you you have asked it. Like I won't go notice that shit. Oh man. Why you treat me like I'm stupid? Seen the hunger that I had, gassed it up and then abused it. Mm. And I ain't mad you stole a bag from our collab. I'm mad you took a bar from Futuristics track and then reused it. But you mm. have to go redo shit. Like you scared to write a new hit. What well, that guy had a million, he threw you on his new shit. Instead of writing new bars, you copied off the blueprint. And I ain't surprised your girl was hopping to a new dick. Ooh shit, try to take. Oh lord, oh lord. See, y'all told me these boys committed a homicide. But I didn't know he was getting this personal with it. He said, you went and stole a bar of futuristic song, but you basically rephrased it. <laughs> I 
All I got to say is, bro, when you put out bad energy into the world, bro, you're not going to get no positive energy back. That's all I got to say. That I don't believe Dax is like this terrible person. I just believe he's doing the YouTube community wrong. Dax, you know it, bro. You know you're doing the YouTube community wrong, bro. Like, I just got I just got to be real with you. You know, I'm going to keep it a thousand. You're doing the YouTube community wrong, bro. Like, ain't this nigga used to be a YouTuber or some shit? How you going to shit on something you started with, man? That you are not mainstream, bro. You are not a mainstream artist, my guy. You are not. I just got to put it out there. You, you, you are on your way. But, bro, you are not. You still a YouTube rapper. You are not mainstream. That's tough. You took a bar from Futuristics track and then reused it. But you love to go reduce shit. Like you scared to write a new hit. But that guy had a million and he threw you on his new, new shit. shit. Instead of writing new bars, you copied off the blueprint. Copy. And I ain't surprised your girl was hopping to a new dick. Uh. New shit. Try to take my money, get my two cents. Huh? This team started snitching, think it's time to cut your loose cents. <laughs> you start a deal after saying, fuck a label, I'm a self-made legend. Then you hid it from your true fans. Uh. Yeah. And what about the girl that ain't exist? The one you said that cheated on you, then you played the fifth. That shit is fabricated. If it ain't, then fucking name the bitch. Manipulate a market that's relatable to gain respect. Every word inside this track is meant to take offense. Tell the person go ghost on me like you're Jaden Smith. Never promo. I gotta say this, bro. That's your shit was hard, bro. But. That, like, if you're thinking about it from a diss track perspective, it wasn't a diss track. It, it was just a, a hard, it was a, it was a good song. I got I gotta say that. But y'all know, when I, when I react, I focus just on the, on, on the vibe of the song and the bars. I wasn't thinking about it from a diss track perspective. Because I low-key knew it wasn't gonna be no, like, full-blown this track, he wasn't gonna go at niggas next. I already knew that. It was too many people. It was too many people. So I just took it for what it was. But I see a lot of people across the internet, like, bro, like, this ain't a diss track. Which it wasn't. It wasn't a diss track. He said a couple bars. That's not a diss track. But this right here, this is a diss track. Come on, Chase. See, I like Chase. See, I like Chase. I like Chase already. He said, bro. On the little two songs you did, saying she cheated on me and she cheated again, bro. That's fake. You made that up to make yourself relatable to an audience that really went through that. Chase, Le bro, come on, man. Hey, hey. Made legend. Hey. Hit it from your true fans. Yeah. And what about the girl that ain't exist? Huh? The one you said that cheated on you, then you played the fifth. That huh? shit is fabricated. If it ain't, then fucking name the bitch. Name Manipulate em. a market that's relatable to gain respect. Uh. Every word inside this track is meant to take offense. Tell the verse and go ghost on me like you're Jaden Smith. Oh, Never oh, oh. promo this whole knows that I can make him rich. He tried to charge me $4,000 just to take a vid. <laughs> Oh, and surprisingly, that's not the worst Cause my homie told me shit that I should not converse uh -oh. But since you putting on the front shit, I'ma drop them words I spoke uh -oh. the press in that time that he tried to cop a verse You got a vic that I know that it's not my place to say You signed a shitty deal with your manager on your race to fame Red tried to give you his lawyer that could erase the claim And helped you out by buying your food and offer the place to stay I wasn't there, I'm just going off of what they say The bond was there too, so don't even try to say they Lied about the facts, they gave advice for you to vacate But when Hit you up for a feature, you told him 8K, whack bitch. Oh lord, oh lord. Bro, we started out with a diss track, now we got a court case. Oh lord, Dex. I think everybody right here, I think everybody was thinking this right here. At, at some point in time, and definitely now. A lot of people always knew it was something about Dax that we didn't know. Everybody knew that. Now everything is coming, everything really coming up. Oh, man. I knew, I knew, I knew so. 
talking about like Dak signed a, like a messed up deal with his manager because I think he got a new manager now. So I knew it was something going on with that. But my man right here spilled all the beans. Old dude try to let Dax get a lawyer to help him out. Gave him a place to stay. Oh, man. And then turn around and Dax tried to charge the man 8K. Then he tried to charge Chase 4. Dax said he so. I'm a seven-figure nigga. Like, we see how. We see how you got there. Oh, that's tough, man. That's tough. <laughs> Dax is a hypocrite, man. Dax is a hypocrite, man. He be doing putting out all this positive stuff. All this positive talk. But then, on the flip side, he doing stuff like this, bro. It don't work like that, bro. You either real or you fake. It's no in-between, my guy. It's no in-between. See, now I'm getting mad now. I'm getting mad now. Bro, you can't be a hypocrite, bro. It's either you real or you fake. There's no in-between. Ah, boy, that's tough. That, that, see, that, that, see, that right there, see, bro, come on, man. For what they say, the bond was there too. So don't even try to say they lied uh. about the facts. They gave advice for you to vacate. But when Rez hit you up for a feature, you told him 8K. Whack, bitch, petty thief. I can see your tactics. If an artist has some fan shit, charge them more than average. Your fans may not see it. Cause they're backing you like ad libs. Cause you acting like all the shit that happens in the past tense. But what about that jag clip? You straight up went and jacked it. My last words in the Kaepernick effects script. That shit's pretty recent. Can somebody get a fact check? You stole a video from an artist to get a fat check and you can try to validate that little peep shit but it took two weeks to make the track from when you peeped it you said you didn't know but you jacked it and then you leaked it and stole his videos to put his face inside the sequence and i ain't shocked because you do this shit a lot when an artist pass away another video will drop and your title it a tribute never say a bar about him but the <laughs> yo i'm fucking with chase bro I, chase i'm a fan bro I'm a fan. Just off this right here, I can tell Chase is a real one. Chase is a real one. I don't know, Dex. Bro, I low-key been, low been still trying to rock with you through all this shit. My fans been telling me Shaquille Snake. But I like to give everybody a chance. I don't like to like judge people off what other people saying. I like to fill them out. But when you really sit back and think about it, because when I'm off YouTube, I'm not thinking about YouTube. When I'm when I'm not in front of this camera, like I'm spending time with my family. Like I don't care, I don't care about what's going on on the internet. But now listening to this track, I got a little bit of insight of how you really are, and and it's true. If anything is popular, anything is popular. It don't matter if it's a person, a video. Uh, 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 a topic. It don't matter what it is. You gonna see Dex drop a video about it. With the whole Avengers thing. Look. Avengers the most talked about thing in the past month. Dex theme is this track off of that. The little Peep shit. He stole a little Peep shit then try to make it seem like a tribute. With all the Tupac videos. Bro, you are not Tupac. He said you stole a futuristic verse. You stole from Screw. You told Crip the track was hard when you really didn't like it. Dwayne TV exposed. Man, come on, bro. Come on, man. All this, bro, all this is not a coincidence, bro. Like, this is just how this man is. And I see it now, that now that I'm thinking about it, because I ain't get two fucks about it. <laughs> to put his face inside the sequence. And I ain't shocked, because you do this shit a lot. When an artist pass away, another video will drop. And your title lit a tribute, never say a bar about him. But the title pulls in every sad fan that they got. Into the thighs that would dump him, like a knife to the stomach. I think it's time to air it out, like when the geyser's erupting. Uh. How'd you rise to the summit, using the lines that you summon. You making money off the death, like you was Michael McCrudden. Man, how you feature on a track, but never follow me? 
It's like you planned it all out because you want the beef. Tory showed us that you're good at the apology, so man up, yeah. drop the fucking act and say I'm sorry, G. You got any last words, dog? Fucking rape me. Get him out of here! Seriously, Dax, just admit to your fucking wrongdoings, apologize, and move on. I don't know why you still making excuses over this shit. Just understand where you fucked up and learn from your mistakes. It takes a real man to come forth and admit when he's wrong. Big you fight! Fighting just makes you look weak, dog. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done here, man. Hit me up and let's talk about this shit off the record. Maybe we can come to terms with some shit. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, like Chase is 100% right, 200% right, like Dax man, like, this, a lot of this so stuff in this song was news to me, it was news, and then I was on Twitter earlier, I saw you copywriting everybody that reacted to your shit, when you literally made a story saying, you wanted everybody to react to it. Only reason that my claim might get removed is because I actually asked you, can I react to it? And you said, yeah. So my claim might get removed. That's tough, bro. I didn't know a lot of this stuff happened. I didn't know a lot of this happened, man. Like... Most I knew, I knew about the little peep thing. I knew about, I, I, obviously I know about the crib situation and school situation. I don't, I didn't really know much about the quadeca situation. But everything else he talked about here. <laughs> hey, Dax, man, you got, you got to admit your wrongs, bro. You got, you got to, you just, you literally just got to come out and say, that you did this stuff. And you did it on purpose, my guy. You planned a lot of this stuff out. What's going to happen is a lot of the reactors going to stop promoting your stuff. A lot of them already stopped. I'm one of the ones that kept going. But you can't, you can't, you can't do people like this, man. It's nothing good going to come from it, man. You need to follow your own advice, my guy. Come on, man. I'm gone.